Listen to the 48 Hours podcast for shocking murder cases and compelling real life dramas from one of television's most watched true crime shows. Go behind the scenes of each episode with award winning CBS News correspondents and producers in Post Mortem, a weekly deep dive. Listen to 48 Hours wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk on this Brittany Renner situation. I don't think uh, not too many people know of that situation, but to explain it to you guys. So pretty much she finessed uh, this basketball player, uh, had a kid with them, uh, broke up with them short time like after having uh, that kid. And I guess he's paying like a crazy, like a crazy, crazy amount um, for child support. I think it was like either 200, I think it was either 100 or $200,000 um, a month. And I'm like, bruh, like, I I personally don't know. Like, I'm because my thing is, is like, I'm trying to think. I don't think an average parent pays that much for a kid. So that's why I'm like, I, I never understood that whole child support thing and why it like it costs so much, especially like, you know, with celebrities, I, I just feel like that if you're going based off of the average, like things that a kid needs. Yeah, it's like that stuff ain't gonna come up to no $200,000. It's like, are you buying like this kid like, like school equipment, like every single day? Like that's that's what I'm confused off of. Like you just go school shopping just every single day. Like, that to me i'm like because my thing is this okay so you do that right you get your kid like the the best of the best clothes best of the best shoes best of the best whatever what if that kid goes to school and gets jumped like i would imagine i would imagine I, i'm thinking along the lines like okay maybe you know i don't think no kid getting that much money is gonna be going to no um public school you know but i'm like my thing is like look anything really can go like you that stuff can go on at a public school a private school wherever okay and i'm like that type of stuff to me i'm like i just don't i don't understand it i'm like i you know i feel like we've all been my and that would be my question is like when you was a kid like when i like asking like you know or telling this to britney renner it's like when, when you was a kid was your parents like showering you with stuff that was over two hundred thousand dollars like every single month because whatever your parents was doing, that's what you should be doing with your kids. Like, it, it's stuff like that. I'm like, I just, I don't get it. I just, I, I do not get this whole situation. But, um, but yeah, so for those that don't know who Brittany Renner is, Brittany um, Renner is a model. Uh, but from what I know is that she uh, has dated a lot of famous people. And so one of them being Colin Kaepernick. I think at one point in time, she was dating Lil Uzi Vert, uh, and who else? Um, but I've always have seen her because I think, I remember I seen her, like, um, I think it was in those World Star Vine compilations a lot. Remember when World Star used to post those? And they always were either have it in the beginning or at the end where they was, like, promoting some models and stuff. And I think that's how I seen her and then just overall seeing her on Instagram. But, um... I remember I used to follow her for a little bit, but then once when she started talking on all this stuff, like, you know, putting her personal, like, business out there and things, I'm like, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I really just don't get it and stuff. And I'm like, man, it's like, that's when you're down bad when you got to do stuff like that. It's like, not to, like, you know, be disrespectful towards her career, but at the same time, it's like, like hey, yo, who cares? Like, no nobody like i think the only reason why people care is because of your like your name and that person's name at the end of the day if nobody didn't know who you guys were like nobody cares okay so anyways um yeah it, it's just that type of stuff i'm like look nobody's not gonna care about that they ain't gonna care if you write out a whole book about it or whatever but anyways so she ended up um dating or getting into a relationship with this basketball player uh named um pj washington and yeah overall uh, i think they were either engaged 
or um, they already had got married. I don't know if they were married. Hold on for a second. Let me see real quick. PJ Washington. Oh, so they might have been married. I did not know that. Okay, wait a minute. Here's his uh, Wikipedia page. It's like, bro is younger than me. He's only 22 years old. And Brittany Renner, she is, she's 29 years old. It's like, hey, yo, this is like a kid, bro. Like, why is you? All right. Anyways, um, they don't really say anything on Wikipedia about his personal life on whether they were married or not. They, um, yeah, they don't say anything about that. And it's like, rightfully so, because it's like, I mean, he, he, he just started uh, a few years ago, back in 2019. So it's like, bro, you know. I, I, that type of stuff, I just don't get it. I don't understand. And it's like, man, you know, he had his whole life ahead of him. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, if he's ready to have a kid, he's ready to have a kid. Ain't no problem with that. But if he wasn't and you put that on him and now he's paying this crazy amount, it's like, I don't think people understand, like, what that can mentally do to a person. You know, and I, and I would like to hope and think that he's not that type of person where it's like he'll go out and do some dramatic things. Uh, because he's going through all of this, but it's like, you know, you're, you're putting this pressure on him and it's like, then he's also trying to be a basketball player and follow his dreams. And yeah, it's like that type of stuff. I mean, you know, it's, it's crazy. Like that's, that's honestly, that's crazy. And I'm like, man, you know, as people don't sit down and they don't think about that. They don't think about a person's, uh, mental health. Now I'm like, man, you know, that type of stuff. It's just like, and if it had been the other way around, oh my God, like, she, you know, she had been all over social media, all over the internet, exposing this man left and right, calling him a deadbeat father, saying, like, you know, all these other different things. Like, if he, you know, just finessed her for the bag or for whatever reasons and things. But, I mean, he's a, yeah, he's a basketball player. She's a model on Instagram. Like, I, I think, I think he's making more of a bag unless she got, like, an OnlyFans or something. But if not, then, yeah, it's like this, this dude, he's... He's making more money than her, I would imagine. And, um, yeah, it's just overall, it's like it's messed up. that. Uh, and then also, it's like all these like videos coming out because she there is a video that came out of her when she was all like, oh, I'm going to like get with an athlete. Athletes are stupid. And I'm like, fam, like that's what I'm like. If I'm if I'm going to date a girl that's uh, famous, oh, I, you best believe I've been like watching her videos, looking through tweets, looking through posts. People, people would have sent me some stuff like that. They have been like, oh, this is what your girl just said about or said about athletes all these years ago. I would have called her out like, no, you got to call a person out on that. So it's like, so athletes are stupid. I'm like, really? I mean, that, that type of stuff. I don't think an athlete would want to hear that, especially when they're in a relationship with you and stuff. So yeah, that's why I'm like, I, you know, I really don't know her situation or her deal, but it's like, fam, like, you this this ain't the way like now i i guess she's you know just in a don't care attitude of her life where she doesn't care who she hurts she doesn't care what she says she doesn't care what she does and yeah overall you know i feel like it will probably get to a point in time though where she continues this like this be like this behavior just overall the way that she acts she's going to continue that is going to hurt the wrong person all right it's going to hurt um hurt the wrong person and that stuff is going to get in her head. And now she's going to be like, oh, I want to sit down and apologize to everybody that I've ever hurt. And it's like, fam, it's too late for them apologies. Like, the damage has been done. I don't think people understand that. It's like, you can apologize. There ain't no problem with apologizing. But it's like, the damage has been done. So you can apologize all you want. The damage has been done. Like, there ain't no coming back from what you did, what you planned, what you said any of that there ain't no coming back from that an apology ain't going to cancel it's not going to cancel all that stuff out you know at the end of the day people are going to you know feel a certain way by the things that you do to them and i you know and it sucks that you know and i was like kind of just talking about this like with a friend of mine yesterday on like and you know and i'm not just saying like you know women i'm saying this for everybody you know i'm not saying like women be out there and be finessing and doing all this stuff but this is for everybody you know, but I was talking with a friend of mine It's like about like how to respect people and how to treat people because at the end of the day, and that's the thing where it's like people are too afraid to be in another person's shoes. Like they are. And that's and that's the thing where I'm like, I always tell people, I'm like, before you judge somebody, before you want to say things about a person, before you want to do whatever, put yourself in that person's shoes. Like how would you, my thing is this, you see 
uh, uh, freaking this basketball player, Brittany Renner, like, you know, whoever. And I know people will ask me, well, what would I do if I was in her shoes? And honestly, I would feel bad. I, I would feel bad. But that's one thing that I've also have said. It's like, you know, when you're living the life of that person, you're going to be living their life, their story. You're not going to be in there. The only thing that you can do is see if the shoe fits and overall, like, walk in a direction that's either going to be a positive direction or a negative direction. So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I could be in her shoes. I can live her life. And, I, you know, who knows? With her mindset, I might do the same thing. With my mindset, I may do things differently. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you got to know that that stuff is wrong. It's like you should be having a kid because you want a kid, because you want a family, because you want to build something from that. If you ain't doing it because you don't want to build, like you just only want like this this drama. It's like that. And that's another thing that I was talking on in my live stream today. It's like, you know, I, I'm not a drama filled person. I hate it. I Honestly, I hate everything about drama. So to exclude myself from any forms of drama, like I'm happy about that. I stay far, far away from it. So. To live a life like that or to put somebody in a situation like that, that's that's not me. That's not the type of stuff that I like doing, you know. And yes, everybody is different. There's people out there that like that stuff. But it's like, how long will that last? Like, how far will that get you in life? You know, like, I and that's why I was all like, you know, I was kind of, I was using this example for another thing topic that I was talking on in my live stream. By the way, follow me on Twitch. I talk about a lot of different things on there. You know, you may see me playing video games, but I be talking about a bunch of different stuff, all right? But anyways, uh, but no, the example, so I was overall talking on the topic of uh, cheating and how, you know, you could get away with it for so many, you know, hours, uh, days, weeks, months, years. You could get away with that stuff for so many time, um, different times, but you guys see it as this. You guys see uh, cheating and then overall using it for this topic, you know, finessing and doing people dirty and wrong and stuff. Um, you guys see it as that you can get away with it for so long, and you guys see it as that it's something like this. You know, when you're getting ready for work, right? When you're getting ready for work, you make sure that you have like all your, you know, belongings with you, your house keys, car keys, your wallet, your phone, your headphones, your work uniform or work equipment, you know, your socks, shoes, underwear, pants, shirt, jacket, glasses, hat, whatever you are wearing. You make sure the go-to things that you ever that you get before you leave the house. You make sure you get that stuff every single day. You set it right there in front of you, you make sure you got it all on law. And then there's going to be that one day, that one day where you forget something and you'll be like, dang, I forgot my food in the refrigerator. Dang, I forgot my coffee sitting on it or my drink sitting on the counter. Dang, I forgot my phone. Dang, I forgot my wallet. Dang, I forgot my... The funny thing about it, and I know people will be like, you know, well, who's... I've been that person. I've been that person where I, re I will remember to bring all of that stuff with me for so long i get i don't get to the point where i'm like you know halfway to work and being like oh dang i forgot my headphones no but i've been like downstairs and been like gotta go back upstairs and get my stuff and things make sure i have it all and stuff even now with this pandemic there's been times i've went outside and um oh uh, where i like i didn't, um almost forgot my mask but uh yeah i'm like that's the thing where it's like you know you could get away with it for so long and you could keep going at it every single day but eventually it's going to get to a point in time where you forget and you're going to get caught slipping and in a situation like with britney renner if you were doing this to finesse this guy and you wasn't even doing this to have a kid like i'm up you know try to like read into it. i maybe should have like read into it first and then said all these things you know afterwards but still you know if it is that story then okay then everything i said still falls in place but if not you know and you know just people just misguided you it's because like my thing is this look at your you know your life look look at your the career that you've laid down like it's one thing to just be a model okay if you out here just being a model okay cool but when you're writing a book talking about oh i slept with this person or i got with this person or i did this or i did that you know and it ain't even like a motivational book like there ain't nothing motivating about hearing you sleeping around with colin kaepernick to me that type of stuff hearing that type of stuff is a waste of time you know maybe if it had been a situation where it's like oh me and colin kaepernick we open up the school or we donate to charity or we help um pets uh, or animals across the world or we invested in stock you know we did something that's like going to get people like invested into something 
my thing is, is like you can't be invested into drama for too long. You gotta be invested into stuff that's gonna better you as a person. And that's why I'm like, you know, all of that, like, you know, that career, I'm like, that's a career I wouldn't want to leave behind where I'm telling people all of the drama and the tea that's going on in my life. Don't nobody care about that. Nobody cares about that at all. Nobody. It may seem interesting. It's going to catch people's eyes. But eventually a person's going to realize that ain't doing nothing for them. So I got to move on in life. I got to start focusing on the bigger picture. I got to start focusing, you know, on stuff. That's why I try to, like, really avoid... Uh, you know, like uh, websites like TMZ or other news. I, I mean, yeah, that's my thing. That's what I do and stuff. But I at least like if I'm going to talk on stuff like that, I'm going to say something motivating about it. You know, like when I have talked on situations, I remember there was these one, two YouTubers. It was uh, Pretty Boy Fredo and his, I think his girlfriend's name is, what is it, Jasmine or something like that? I don't know. But anyways, um, I remember when they were going through their stuff. I talked on it, but I made sure I gave off some advice about it. There is this um, YouTuber where she overall talked about how she deals with anxiety bad. I talked on it. Guess what? I gave out advice. The one YouTuber that I, um, that I react to frequently, uh, Crispy Concords, he talked about how he was taking a break from YouTube. I talked on it, but I did give out advice. Or at least I showed my support. So that's my thing is, is like, this is what this world needs. We need more advice on things that, you know, that can actually teach us some stuff in support. But if people, that's the thing where it's like, people don't want to do that. You know, people just want to live this drama filled life. And I was like, that is honestly the era that we are in when it comes to the internet. We're in this drama era, maybe at the end of it, maybe at the beginning of it. We really do not know where, it, um, when it's going to, um, start or end. But we are definitely in a time and place where drama is the only thing that matters. Not bettering yourself as a person, but just overall just drama, negativity, hate, all of that. And I've like, and I've spoken out against that stuff numerous times in my life. Numerous times. Where it's all like, that ain't gonna get you nowhere. You know, I've said even with the haters that I've had to deal with, it ain't gonna get you nowhere. Hating on me, and even like hating on Brittany Renner for this whole situation. I know people are probably out here hating on her for doing this to this kid. And yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, it's like, I mean, yeah, you know, it's messed up, but it's like to show, my thing is this, she's gonna have to live with that. You shouldn't be living with that at any given point in time in the day week month year like that shouldn't be on your conscience that shouldn't be something where it's all like oh okay i got it you know like the only my thing is this the only reason why i'm even talking about this is so i can give out advice so i can actually say something where it's like okay if a person wants to you know hear or see something about this britney um renner situation you're also going to hear some advice you're also going to hear how i feel about this situation you know and at the end of the day it's like this britney um renner situation it ain't going it isn't the first time stuff like this has happened and it's most likely not going to be the last but to focus on it for as long as we have to give it this much attention because that's honestly the only reason why she's even doing any of this stuff is for attention she's not doing this uh to have a positive life it ain't benefiting her it ain't benefiting nobody she may think it's a benefit she may think that oh this is making me money this is getting me follows this is getting me likes this is doing whatever it can possibly do to better me as a person but it's like this isn't bettering you this isn't doing nothing for you like my thing is, is this when you get into drama versus you know doing something productive with your life what's gonna help you out more you know, even when people, they've approached me and they're all like, oh, you need to get back in more drama with this person. You need to do this. You need to do that. How is that going to benefit me? How is that going to make me get a step closer to where I want to be at in life? That's not doing nothing for me. That's not doing nothing for nobody. So that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm that person. I'm, I'm at that point in time in my life where I'm just like, hey, yo, drama, beefing, arguing, uh, problems, all of that, conflicts. I, you know, it, it's gotten to a point in time where I'm all like, it ain't doing nothing for nobody. So I'm like, this Britney uh, Renner situation, the only person that's gonna have to, because this uh, PJ Washington guy, you know, he's gonna get older. He's gonna, ha um, you know, be involved with this life's, uh, or, you know, this kid's life more. You know, he's gonna be a good father, regardless. You know, we all are gonna move on from this situation. It's going, it is going, and I promise you, it's going to reach a point in time in Brittany Renner's life where she sits down 
reflects on all of these things that she did. If she sees that she did something good, that's what she sees. If she sees that she did something bad, that's what she's also going to see. But one is going to feel real. One is going to feel authentic. It's going to hit you. It is that it's going to be one of those feelings that hit you where it's like, oh, like that took me back a little bit. Like, dang, I was really out here doing that. Trust me. That's like that's I'm telling you, that's like everybody. That's why when you hear situations like where a bully will get, you know, older and they sit down, they think about all the people that they bullied in their life. Guess what? Now they now they sitting down living with that. Now they sitting down thinking about that. When you go out and you, I, I've had it where people have like came back and apologized to me, or you know, overall said like you know, man, it's like you or well, are more so yeah, more so just apologize for spreading hate towards me because that stuff they sat down, they thought about it, they knew. And my thing is this: they wouldn't want something like that to happen to them, which is like yeah, I, I understand that, but. They sat down, they thought about that stuff, and they was all like, hey, yo, like, that was messed up. Like, that that was honestly messed up that I did that, and I am sorry. So, yeah, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, she she's going to live with that. She's going she's gonna to live with that. There ain't no taking that away. And it ain't going to be, she, you know, she may think that she's all invincible and strong now, but it, it's going to hit her at one point in time, and she's going to be like, dang, like, I really live that, and I'm that P, this PJ Washington guy, most likely he's going to meet somebody that actually, you know, wants to be involved in his life. Like, it's going to be an actual, like a, like, a wife and husband situation where he's living the best life that he possibly can live. Brittany Renner, it's like the only, I feel like the only way she would be able to, like, meet somebody that's uh, like her is if it's somebody that was doing things that was equal, the same stuff or things that was equally bad like her. But she ain't going to, my thing is, like, and who knows? Maybe there might be a person out there where they're, like, you know, they've lived a good life, but they want to, and I think that will be the only reason why somebody that's living a good life would want to be with her so they can help her live a good life. That would be the only reason on why anybody would want to be with her. Other than that, I don't see somebody that just go out their way to just be with her, especially with all this stuff that she's doing. So, I know I wouldn't. I'm all like, oh, nah. Like, it's, you know, yeah, my thing is, it's like, it might bring me fame and fortune, but I'm like, I want to get fame and fortune the right way by entertaining people. Not by getting caught up in no drama, not no uh, baby mama drama, no, oh, I had a kid with her, and all, you know, all these other different things. I'm not with that. So, anyways, um, yeah, I overall will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 34 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMOSBoss. Make sure you all follow my Facebook page at TMOSBoss Fan Page. And if you are purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBoss. It will knock $20 off of your next purchase. And that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and listening, and peace. Thank you.